The Wayne County Community Foundation was founded in 1978 with a gift of $1,000 from Bill Bear of Orville. Townsman Bob Seward in the early years ran the foundation single-handed and at no charge from an office in the Little Red Caboose in Smithville, a location chosen to underscore that this was a community-wide organization. Well, of course we had no money. And so it was about this time that uh, Bill Bear from Orville gave us our first real donation, which was $1,000. That was big money. When you have no money, a thousand dollars is really big money. But that was a momentous occasion because it was not really the size of the gift. It was the fact that he believed in us. He believed in the project. And uh, honestly, after that, we were sort of off and running. Well, many hands were involved in the success of the foundation over these last 40 years. but. The importance of that initial board of trustees uh, really can't be overstated, and in particular, Bob Critchfield, who got the foundation off to a good financial start. Bill Bear of Orville, Ohio, actually gave the first gift to the foundation. That's the history. And Bob followed that initial gift up uh, with gifts in the early uh, 1980s that really got the foundation off to a great financial start. A bequest from the Congdon family of Orville increased assets to allow the first grants to be awarded to the Boys and Girls Club of Orville and the Village Network. Both organizations are still going strong today. The Orville area is a much better place to live because of the Wayne County Community Foundation. The foundation has not only helped Orville, Rittman, and Worcester, but many other communities around Wayne County. The decade of the 1990s was a time of significant growth. WCCF hired Diane Gordon as its first paid part-time executive director, received its first million dollar gift from a bequest, and established designated funds for several significant capital projects, including Rittman Recreation Center, Wayne County Public Library, and the Ellen Shapiro Natatorium and Galt Recreation Center at Worcester High School high-profile, large construction projects really helped elevate uh, community awareness of the Wayne County Community Foundation. All this activity brought the foundation's assets to over $20 million. From that point on, WCCF increased its visibility and activity, establishing a strong program of scholarships for local students and working with other nonprofit agencies throughout the county. I received over $15,000 in scholarship money from the Wayne County Foundation and the scholarship funds um, that it manages throughout my college career. And as a nursing student, I have 12-hour clinical days and simulations and things throughout the week that really make for a hectic schedule. Having the scholarship money and not having to worry about as much about um, how I'm going to pay for my college was really a load off of my shoulders. Yeah, we, we, um, we got associated with the foundation um, because we wanted to set up a scholarship and a fund to kind of um, help out future students that, you know, we, we felt that they would be deserving of, of help and we know that going to the College of Worcester is expensive. So, so we wanted to remember our son, but we also wanted to kind of pay it forward for all the, the support that we've gotten from the Triway community, Worcester community, the college community. In 2007, Frank Relly was hired as the first full-time executive director, and under his leadership, assets reached $50 million for the first time. Frank also established the Youth Foundation to educate young people about philanthropy and to engage them in grant-making. So during my junior year of high school, I was a member of the Wayne County Youth Foundation, um, which was led by Mr. Relly, the former director of the Youth Foundation, and we went to different organizations and um, places throughout Wayne County and kind of learned about their mission, and along the way we learned about grant writing and things like that. So I actually was able to use some of the things that I learned about grant writing in a high school project the following year where we built and designed an app 
for the county line trail. And the project um, obviously required some funding and so I was able to um, complete some grant applications successfully to get the money to complete the project, which was really exciting. WCCF is proud of being a full service foundation which supports a wide range of community activities, including arts and culture, civic endeavors, health and wellness, and human services, all of which contribute to the quality of life for all Wayne County citizens. Uh, the Wayne County Community Foundation has been a great supporter of the arts in Wayne County. Their support has enabled some of these arts endeavors uh, to thrive and to survive when they possibly would not have. And the presence of arts enhances a community regardless it is important as a part of our economic scene because it helps to attract companies who bring people to this community. In recent years, the foundation has worked to broaden its base by actively involving more community members. The Women's Fund and Give 365 have created new opportunities for collaboration with and support of other nonprofit agencies. Hello, my name is Sandy Elliott and I'm from the Wayne County Schools Career Center. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my involvement with the Wayne County Community Foundation and specifically the Women's Fund. Back in 2014, there was a grant proposal to help meet the needs of women within our community. In that grant, we decided to establish a program of workshops that women would go through to help them achieve their goals. We were working with them to help reach them wherever they were to move towards their success. We have served over 50 women in our very diverse groups. Many of the women who come in do not have their GEDs and they may be sitting next to somebody that have a master's degree. Some who have a wonderful work history and others that are seeking for permanent employment. This has been a tremendous opportunity to serve these women and to see them thrive within our community. The 365 program is a membership program where members pay $365 in a year's time to help support a project in Wayne County. 50% of the money is used in the immediate year and 50% of the money is put in an endowment for future projects. Since the 365 program has been giving grants, we've been able to help hundreds of children with dental services through the Viola Startsman Clinic. We've also been able to give money to the Wayne County Schools Career Center for their Drug Free America Club. We've also been able to help 180 fund some of their programs to help Wayne County with the opioid crisis. The mission of WCCF is to be a leader in philanthropy for our community. Wayne County is tremendously fortunate to have a community foundation. Community foundations serve a broad range of interests and needs and reflect the philanthropic interests of thousands of Wayne County citizens. The Wayne County Community Foundation strives to bring to really support the philanthropic energies in Wayne County. And we're so blessed that so many individuals, businesses, and nonprofit organizations are extraordinarily philanthropic in Wayne County. It's very exciting to think that an initial gift of $1,000 has grown to exceed $76 million today. In the same period, more than $72 million has been returned to the community in the form of grants and scholarships. Our greatest asset, however, is the confidence expressed in us by the community we serve. We are in this for the long haul. We absolutely depend on the confidence of the citizens of Wayne County. They have to believe that we'll do what we say we will do and that when they place their funds with us and their philanthropic aspirations and goals with us, that those things will be respected and that we will be able to help them achieve what they want to achieve. And so being in business for 40 years is pretty exciting. And my concern is that we are still in business after another 40 years have gone by. The Wayne County Foundation will continue to support initiatives that improve the quality of life here in Wayne County for all of its citizens. Because one of the things that makes this community so special is that people really care about other people. They want to make life better for their friends and neighbors. 
and they want that whether or not they get any credit for it. They just want to do the right thing. That's so inspiring, certainly inspires me every day. And so we don't want to lose that. And we want to know that 40 years from now, we'll still have philanthropy as an essential element in the fabric of this wonderful community that we all love so much.